All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechak Wadash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of the Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Akim, pushing his word with true sincerity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word and calls God and Jehovah by Hashem is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name of the word and calls Jesus and Rechak Wadash. Is the Holy Spirit, and as always, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites, according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigners scattered amongst other nations whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage, according to their father's line, go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites, no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be. And as always, we're the brothers from the Great Mostone Branch out of Chicago. It's a little bit talk a lot. And I'm the brother Yadaya, and we're back with another lesson, and it's going to be um, basically um, focused on how a, a, a the whole world, everybody is going to acknowledge Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. You see, the Lord is going to um, save his people and, and, and judge Babylon the Great, what the scriptures refer to as the hammer of the earth. And through that, the Lord is going to be glorified. You see, so all you scoffers, you mockers, you unbelievers, you infidels, right? You're all going to, it's going to come a point of time very soon in which you're going to bow down. You're going to acknowledge that Yahweh, that he is, Yahweh Shai, that he, that he is, right? That's right. Uh, you can start with that 2 Peter 3. This is 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 1, the second epistle. Beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Mm -hmm. That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us the apostles of the Hamashiach or of the Lord and Savior Slag. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? Right. So aided. It. I'll finish it off. For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. All right, so the um, scriptures, you know, uh, they um, remind us, they tell you, like, look, in the last days, it's going to be people um, scoffing, mocking, joking, chiding. Oh, the Lord ain't coming back. That was thousands of years ago. He still ain't come back, right? You know, a, a proud, boldful spirit, yeah. right? But little do they know. I was going to say, hey, these words are faithful and true. Just as the Lord um, saw the wickedness that was in the earth back in the times of Noah, the pride, you know, everything that was going on back then, the Lord sent the flood. The same thing he's going to do now, and it's written within these scriptures. You can keep reading. Come on. This is verse 5. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of Yahweh the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Mm -hmm. Whereby... The world that then was being overflowed with water perished. Right, it says they're willingly ignorant. They 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 tend to forget or don't want to think about or acknowledge how the Lord flooded the earth the first time. That's right. And it's evidence, you no know, supposed scientific evidence. We don't need it because we we got this word right here. That's right. But it's evidence that it was a great flood. Different nations of um, people have an account of what they call the great deluge or the great flood. Right? right, and hey, that account is written within the Holy Scriptures, and it tell us why the Lord did it. That's right. So just the Lord confirmed His word back then; He's gonna do it now. So all you scoffers, you mockers, and hey, you're gonna look very stupid very soon. Hey Amen. And just for the record, the apostles, uh, to heart on down, to all the elders, etc., always constantly bring it out that you know you niggers that are out here today, that are the wickedest niggers that have ever walked the earth, are those same people that got drowned out in the flood back right now. That's right. Let me keep reading this. Uh, what the next verse say? But the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Right. So hey, the end of this age is going to come with fire. Just the Lord uh, flooded the earth and ended the wickedness back then. He's going to do it this time with fire. And it's confirmed by that same faithful word. So what's going to happen? That's right. You see? So all you unbelievers, hey, the Lord going to get your king right in June. One and like 13. Come on, come on. You want me to jump there now or you want me to finish this out? First, you want to do one and 13. Come on. Then we have Romans. Come on. It's the book of Jude, chapter 1 and verse 13. And, 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 and to, to not believe in the Lord is stupid, man. Yeah, you really got the Lord. You really in a low state if you don't have any belief in the Lord. Because one thing I always think about is evil is, is, is present and it's evident. 
and the strip to tell you that if all things are two and two, double one against another. If uh, if it's if evil that we see every day is said, then it gotta be an opposite righteous power. That's right. And it, his name is Yahweh. You see? That's right. You get that. This is Jude. This is Jude one and thirteen. Raging waves of the Sorry, sea. Go go to next verse fourteen. Con. This is Jude chapter one and verse fourteen. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, Yahweh cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Yep. So hey, the Lord will get you, fool. That's hey, right. Stu, you see, even Enoch prophesied way back then. It says he was a seven from Adam. That Yahweh Shai, he will come back and judge all you unbelievers, you all you fucking proud, boastful people. You uh, with your hard speech, God don't exist. God is dead. God never science this, science that. The Lord gonna come and shut your mouth. You That's see. Right. When hey, when the Lord cracked those skies, it says man's heart is gonna fail. Say, uh, Second Andrews 13 says Yahweh is going to come to the astonishment of them that dwell on a planet Earth. And when that day comes, hey, all you unbelievers, hey, you gonna be through, man. Hey, the difference between us and them is that we believe, we confessed already, <laughs> right? right? But when the Lord come back, hey, you gonna have to, you gonna have to learn it through uh, through judgment. That's right. Isaiah says the Lord, Isaiah 66, I believe in 15, says Yahweh Shai will come with fire and his whirlwind to render his anger, his rebuke with flames of fire. That's right. You see? So when the Lord comes back, hey, he coming back, hey, hey, dishing out ass whoopings. That's right. You know? Because a certain day is going to come where you're not going to, the doors of repentance are going to close. That's right. And you're not going to be able to repent. Because what, what niggas like to do, because this is only for uh, you Israelites, by the way, heathens can't repent. Edomites can't repent. Y'all just gonna get destroyed. But for you Jakes that, that wanna be hard at here and don't wanna get right, because Jake like to procrastinate and wait till the last minute to do stuff, the Lord is not dealing with that, man. Either you're gonna repent while you have the opportunity to repent now, or once the doors of mercy close, you're gonna be thrown into the fire with all these heathens, man. Um, let me just get something real quick to back you up, then I'm gonna grab that Romans. This Psalms 14 and 1, the fool have said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. All right. So you you have to be an idiot to and, and, and really because at the end of the day, and, and me and this brother was talking about this earlier today. Everybody knows that the Lord is real, man. Anybody that says that there is no God is a fool, and they just saying it to be contrary and to scoff. But deep down in their subconscious mind, they understand that the Lord is real and he's not playing, man. All right. So you can say whatever you want and and, and you can because a lot of these people, they have that spirit of they think that they can speak into existence that the fact that the Lord ain't real. And that's not going to happen, man. All right. But let me get this wrong. Let's now. chapter 14 and verse 11 for it is written as I live saith Yahweh every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to Yahweh so that every one of us shall give account to him of himself to Yahweh mm -hmm. right and hey, hey, our power hey, 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 hey. Yahweh Bashmiah Shai is like look you either going you going either bow before that decree bring forth you're going to confess with your mouth, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, or you're going to get it the hard way. But either way it goes, everyone is going to gonna uh, acknowledge Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The book of Habakkuk, I believe it says, the knowledge of the Lord shall be from river to uh, river to river to sea to sea. You see? Our power is going to make himself known in the earth. And hey, anybody that try and say otherwise or do any of that bullshit, guess what? You get your head split. That's right. You see, the Lord is demanding his um his reverence. And he's going to get that in the earth. You see? To, hey, from his own people and from the rest of you nations, man. That's right. You got something? Come, come. Yeah. You take North Ave, right? Yeah, yeah. Good. Uh -huh. I'm going to
This is the book of uh, Philippians 2 and 9. Wherefore Yahweh also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahweh Shai every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai HaMashiach is Lord and the glory of Yahweh the Father. All right, so at the end of the day, you're not gonna have a choice because when Yahweh Shai comes back, he's not coming back like a man. It ain't nothing that anybody got down here that's gonna do anything to stop what's about to happen, man. So if you were Israelite, you better repent now. If not, you're gonna be destroyed. And those of you that are not in America, after America gets destroyed, all you rebels are going to get rounded up. And if you don't want to bend the knee to your house, you're going to get put to death, man. That's right. Point blank, period. And you can come back on your next go round when you respawn as a nutsack Israelite and be reprogrammed to have your mind right. Mm -hmm. All right. Because at the end of the day, Yahweh Shai ain't like uh, this not Caesar Borgia that's coming back, man. Or, because Caesar Borgia was a fucking demon, but th this fake idea of JC that, that's coming back to give everybody a hug is not coming. That's not what's happening. That's not what's about to happen, man. Right. <laughs> PG-13. Uh, <laughs> rated G. Right. Rated E for everyone. Nah, man. <laughs> Shit, the hands is rated E for everyone. Because all you niggas going to get fucked up. Yep. The Lord said, think not. Now I'm coming to send peace. Nay, I come to send a sword upon the earth, man. That's right. And you people, hey, you been on... Um, you didn't let this devil, you saw even the so-called white male deceive you and thinking the Lord is sweet. Hell no. Nah. Hey, the brother quoted it. Yahweh Shai, he said, I will not meet thee as a man. The Lord is coming back. Hey, uh, uh, conquering. as a conquering lion, you see? And a hey, who who will not bend? Who will not um, fold in that day? You see? That's right. You get that second nine. Because uh -huh. you got something. Oh, I got that second nine. I got you. And, um, hey, man, for you, for you people that allow Esau... To tell you that Yahweh that that, that Yahweh shy and, and Yahweh are mm -hmm. sweet and, and and they just gonna let you do whatever they want to do and they're not gonna exact their judgment. Hey man, Esau I tell you he coming in the name of the Lord when he when he teaching you all this BS. But how do Esau conduct himself with you niggas, man? <laughs> Esau don't fucking play around. So you think that if Esau ain't playing, oh, but the Lord gonna play with you niggas? Absolutely not, man. Because the Lord is who sent Esau to fuck you niggas up, man. This uh, second edge is nine and nine. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Yep. Speaking about our people, you see. <laughs> um, You despise the, the wisdom of the Lord, the knowledge of the Lord, all this instruction of the Lord. Take the right light. No, no, no. Keep straight, Keep straight and then take the right out. Okay. You um you despised it, you know that great that uh, uh it's like window of uh, repentance and mercy. Hey, you, you didn't um take heed. Now the Lord is gonna judge you. Now you have to learn the reverence, which is uh, fearful respect of the heavenly Father through death by pain. That's right. The Lord gonna fuck you up. That's right. This is verse ten. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law. While they had yet liberty, mm -hmm. and when as yet a like and when as yet place, place of repentance, repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Right, you despised the, the laws of the Lord. You uh, you didn't take heed to his priests. You should take reverence his priests. Do his prophets no harm. Harm. You did all this wickedness and all this bullshit that don't promise you nothing. Now it's time for you to pay. That's right. And the Lord and and, and this highlights that the Lord is giving all you Jakes an opportunity. All you Jakes have a chance to repent and turn back to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And if you stick your nose up in the air at that, well then fuck you. You're gonna get, you're gonna uh, die the death of the uh, uncircumcised, man. That's what's gonna happen. That's right. All right, this is verse 12. The same must know it after death by pain. Right, now you're gonna, hey, going back to it, you're gonna learn it by death by pain. You're gonna, you're gonna be a nutsack Israelite. You're gonna have to hey, be destroyed on this side and, and, and born in the kingdom uh, all righteous. That's you right. see? But nonetheless, you're gonna confess. That's right. And as we mentioned, the elect is doing it right now. But hey, the rest of our people, they're gonna do it on the other side after that terrible judgment. It says it's gonna be weeping and gnashing of teeth. That's right. And they're gonna have to bear the shame of being a punk on this side too. 
all right? Yep. And, and it ain't gonna be no quick and easy process like you like like how all these niggas think oh well i just get my head cut off and i'll die or you know the nuke gonna blow up and and i'm gonna get vaporized instantly, instantly. <laughs> so it ain't gonna be that bad no the scriptures say that you're gonna dwell in torments man and it's gonna start when jacob's trouble starts and it's gonna carry all the way throughout to when the nukes come and however long the lord gonna leave you niggas to barbecue man Anything else? No. So wait, with that, Lord, this was an edifying lesson. Call her Laim La. Yeah, how will by Hashem? Yeah, how shy by Hashem? We're coming for us. That one say elders and the apostles of the great millstone, which tells us this truth. It's like taste all the I can put his word to charity with charity. So I'm gonna break a thumb while Kwame Asharala. Kwame Asharala. Baba Ball. Baba Ball. It's this one right here. It was um.